Hello and welcome to Criss Cross Media. My name is Chris and you're watching Scrapped. It's a show where I give you guys the history, current status, and possible future of various products, movies, TV shows, places, toys, and games that were, well, unfortunately scrapped. And let me tell you, I mean, you can't beat the feeling. Life just tastes good. Just open happiness and taste the feeling. Yeah, that's right. Today we'll talk about some of the well-known canceled attempts of various Coca-Cola products. I'm sharing a Coke with you. That's, that's right. I you. Can you believe that Coca-Cola has been around for 130 years? Grover Cleveland was still president. What, what, a, what a beautiful man. Oof. You see, Coca-Cola, while seemingly the same product we've all known and loved for years, has had quite a history. It was not always intended to be America's favorite soft drink. In fact, it was invented by a Confederate colonel named John Pembington. Pemberton. Pember Pembington? Colonel John Pemberton, who was addicted to morphine after a wound he received during the Civil War. This guy was pretty badass, except for being a Confederate. Yeah, that's that's kind of messed up. He began his quest to create a recipe formulated to substitute the dangerous drug he was dependent on, thus creating coca wine. He later altered his creation to simply Coca-Cola as a non-alcoholic version due to the 1886 prohibition. And for just a grand total of five cents, a delicious bottle of Coca-Cola, which was described to cure many diseases such as morphine addiction, something I can't pronounce, another thing I can't pronounce, headaches, and impotence. Hear that, guys? Mmm, another thing, the cold, crisp taste of Coke is so satisfying, it keeps me from eating something else that might really add those pounds. In its original formula, its two main ingredients were cocaine and caffeine. I, I, know, what you, I know what you're thinking. Smack. White Palace. A Chinaman's nightcap. The cocaine coming from coca leaves and the caffeine extracted from cola nuts. Get it? Coca... Cola. And the rest is history. With its delicious taste, iconic branding, and distinctive bottle design, the Coca-Cola company skyrocketed and quickly became the king of the soft drink industry. Zooming forward to present day, the Coca-Cola company has over 350 products. And while Coke is still reigning supreme, there are so many products and flavors that were, well, unfortunately scrapped, as well as some conspiracies and some controversies. Uh, so let's just begin uh, with New Coke, aka the biggest misstep by the company and maybe one of the biggest missteps in the food industry of all time. In 1985, on the 100th anniversary of Coca-Cola, the soft drink giant decided it would be a great idea to replace and reformulate its iconic taste and recipe, simply because younger consumers preferred the sweeter and more disgusting taste of Pepsi-Cola. That's a great idea, Coke. Just 100 years, throw it out the window. Why are you popular? I don't know. Why don't we ask the Colonel if that's a good idea, Coke, huh? Yeah? So what does Coke do? They created a sweeter drink, much like Pepsi, and conducted countless taste tests around the nation, with this new cola overwhelmingly beating the original Coke and Pepsi, with the slogan, the best just got better. So Coca-Cola took a huge shot at Pepsi during the Coca-Cola War of the 80s, and on April 23rd, 1985, new Coke was unleashed for the world to taste its bolder, rounder, and more harmonious flavor. Now, despite many loving and accepting this new direction of everyone's favorite cola, there was a resounding backlash towards Coke, with the company receiving death threats, bad letters, telephone calls, expressing their disappointment, boycotts, even riots. They, there were riots that broke out because of coke. People wanted their coke back, guys. Heck, even Fidel Castro chimed in, stating, New Coke is a sign of American capitalism. With the company backed into a corner, everyone began to point fingers at each other, until it was decided to simply just reverse it, or crisscross it. On July 11th, less than three months after New Coke's release, the original formula was back in the market, now called Coca-Cola Classic, and while New Coke was simply just called Coke 2, like a sequel or something, I don't know. Well, I did like the old better, the old Coke. And I'm glad they're bringing it back. The problem was the company now had to market two colas, especially after previously proclaiming New Coke, aka Coke 2, was bigger and bolder and better. So instead of embracing their crazy stepchild, they let it fizzle out of existence and in 2002, Coca-Cola announced it was scrapped. Indefinitely. But we're not done. There is a huge controversy surrounding New Coke. There are theories and even evidence supporting the idea that the company intentionally changed the formula, hoping customers would be 
upset and demand the original formula to return. The then switch was planned to cover the changed recipe from sugar sweetened coke to a much less expensive high fructose corn syrup sweetened coke. Very, very sneaky coke. But don't worry, I still love you. But I'm not done yet. There was another coke too. I'm not making this up. It was known as Coke C2. This version of coke was introduced on the market in 2004 in response to the low carbohydrate diet trend with half the calories of Coca-Cola. Thanks Atkins, you bacon loving hack. And while the can and logo looked pretty cool and sleek and the flavor was pretty good for a diet soda, the sales just didn't live up to expectations. Mostly due to Coke's big misstep and cannibalization of their own products. Coca-Cola Zero featured virtually the same taste but with zero calories. So C2 was scrapped shortly after. <laughs> Then there's the classic and magical decade of the 90s, where the very sugary and highly caffeinated Mountain Dew hit the market and was extremely popular. But Coke had nothing in its arsenal to combat it, and they desperately wanted to get that teen demographic. They just wanted it so bad. So they developed MDK, which stood for, and I, I kid you not, Mountain Dew Killer. Mountain Dew eventually became the popular and fully loaded citrus soda, Surge. A few years after its release, however, sales began to dip a little, and it was eventually scrapped. But, after an internet campaign and a huge push from fans, the Surge movement brought back the bold soda, so it was kind of unscrapped. Perhaps? And honestly guys, this list can go on. I'm from Coca-Cola energy drinks, Coke Lemon, Coca-Cola Black, which was a coffee flavored soda, even Coca-Cola's notorious OK soda, which was their trendy response to the grunge era. There are many attempts for that bold new flavor, and who knows, I mean with the 1.8 billion Cokes consumed each and every day, there are bound to be countless more Coke flavors and campaigns that will emerge, and will, well, you know how it goes guys, it will just get scrapped. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the third ever episode of Scrapped. If you like this, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and I promise you'll find something you like. There are so many other Scrapped ideas I've been researching like in the next episode. I will tell you guys all about these awesome Scrapped Pokemon. They're so cute, so tiny, so awesome. I wish they actually were a thing in the game, but well, they were Scrapped. So check that out if that's something you would really like to see if you want to, you know, catch them all. And if you didn't catch the last episode of Scrapped, I talked all about the never released Disney theme park Disney's America, so check that out if it fits your fancy. And if there's any scrap ideas you'd like for me to tackle, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. As always, follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates and just things I post on the daily. I hope to see you guys next time. I'm Chris, and you just been Chris Cross. Peace out. Taste the feeling. Naughty. Nice. <laughs> Do I get extra points for it being in one of the classic bottles? Life tastes good. Wow, this Coke is really good. Always Coca-Cola. There you go.